Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday morning simulcast with Rom Wills. Having gratitude. Now, I know I'll always talk about gratitude, but that's the most important, one of the most important things you have to have going through life. You have to be grateful for what you have. I have not one, but two stories. Right, the first one, about a week uh, before, uh, about a week ago, this podcast is coming out on March 11th, on like March 2nd in where I live in Maryland, there was a massive blackout. I mean, it, it was not getting knocked out. Like traffic lights, stores had to close. I mean, it was, it was desolate. And on top of that, it was cold. We talking temperatures like in the twenties. And so, you know, and that Friday, you know, I had my sons, and we had to, we had to sleep. It was cold in the place. I mean, we were sleeping in like. Um, you know, our regular clothes and stuff. That's how cold it was. And you only had so many blankets. And even then, I mean, you're talking temperatures in the home, maybe in the 40s. So it was freezing. But I remember before, even before that, you know, talking with uh, somebody. I said something to somebody. I said, well, you know, in Puerto Rico, they've been some areas still without power since September. So even though it was an inconvenience, you know, I really thought about, okay, I mean, they'll get the power back in one, but, you know, what about those people who go without power for a long time? And even in this area, like, our power came back right back on on the 3rd, you know, that morning. You know, we had a bad night, but it came back on, you know, got the heat up and everything. But what about people whose power didn't get turned on for still for a few days? And then there was a, a storm on the 7th. And, you know, some people got their power knocked out again. But I looked at it like it was a slight inconvenience, but I was still grateful. You know, grateful that, you know, I'm always sleeping in a warm place. You know, I have, or just having the money to just get, uh, you know, have the clothes to wear when it was cold. And that was important. I had a lot of gratitude. And, you know, when I mentioned some of that stuff to somebody, they just looked at me funny. I was like, well, it could be worse. You know, could be worse. And then there was something else, too. And it's like, you know, it was uh, something uh, just uh, like around the middle of the week. I had a bad pain in my arm. I mean, like in my shoulder, really. And I was like, damn, what the hell happened? He checked out some stuff on the internet, and it, it was like talking about rotator cuffs and all of this. Like, there were several things it could have been. Like, I could barely raise my left arm. And it was funny. I had to drive anyway, and I was driving with my right hand. Now, it's an interesting thing. When I drive, even though I'm right-handed, I usually drive with my left hand. But I couldn't use my left hand, so, you know, it was kind of different driving. But... I thought about some people who they might not have, um, they might not have use of both hands driving anyway. I saw like a clip about uh, a man who didn't, he, he really didn't have hands. He didn't have, he was born without hands at all, yet he was able to drive a car with his foot. And you do get some people, you know, I, I met a gentleman whose arm had to be amputated and yet he still drove his car. And I thought about it. I was just like, okay, this is a slight inconvenience because whatever it was going on with my shoulder, uh, which turned out to be arthritis. Hey, I'm getting older. It was still, you know, you still had to make do. You know, going through life, some of the stuff we take for granted, we need to be grateful for. You know, if you're sleeping in a warm place, be grateful for it, where the power is running, where you, I mean, a significant part of the world doesn't have indoor t uh, plumbing. Be thankful for it. A lot of people take it for granted until something happens. Because even with that power thing, there were, there were some people, they were, they were mad. They were like, ah, I 
I wish the power would come back on. But, you know, for some people, some people might not even have power at all. You know, you got to have gratitude for what we do have or just being able to drive or anything. Or just really just, I mean, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of disabled people, you know, who probably wish they could walk, who probably wish you know, the thought processes were the same as everyone else because there's a whole lot of autistic uh, uh, children and adults out there. You know, be thankful for all that you have. You know, have gratitude and, and live life with gratitude. You know, see, a lot of times, uh, I think that one of the problems in this culture is that we become so entitled and so ungrateful because we don't have a contrast of not having it. So it's like when you have those situations where, you know, you are inconvenienced by a power blackout or, you know, you briefly, I don't know, you could break your arm or something. You briefly don't have use of uh, your arm or sometimes even your fe uh, feet. You could have a broken leg or something and you're a driver. Be thankful that you do have those things. Even if you haven't experienced anything bad, you really haven't experienced too many blackouts or maybe at all, especially during the inconvenient time, or, you know, have your house burned down or anything that could happen. Be thankful that it hasn't happened. Appreciate it. You know, always appreciate it. Don't, too many times people take things for granted and they don't appreciate what they have. Always appreciate what you have. You know, appreciate the people in your life. You know, if you have a good mate, a lot of people don't have a good mate. Appreciate that. If you got somebody who cares about you, cares that you eat, cares that they take care of you, think about that. You know? Think about that. I mean, I just did something on my Deep Thought channel about the nature of love. You know? Be grateful that you have somebody who cares enough for you, you know, just to care for you. I remember this uh, this dude, a player. I mean, it's a womanizer. And, you know, he said, you know, he would give all these women up if he had just one he knew really cared about him. And it's ironic. You know, some people would think he's living a life, but he's just like, no. Yeah, you getting some physical pleasure, but he wanted somebody. He wanted somebody for his heart. You know, he wanted he wanted somebody who knew really cared for him. So if you got that, appreciate it. Have gratitude for it. You know, if you got food in your fridge, I have gratitude for that. There's some people that, even in this country, there are people who are starving. You know. There's plenty of people. I mean, in shoot, if you're healthy, if you're not on drugs or anything, be happy about that. Now, I know that's more of a choice between people, but then, you know, some people have something within them that gets them caught up into uh, addiction. So, you know, you want to have just gratitude. Whatever, whatever you got positive going on in your life. You want to have gratitude for it, you know, appreciate it, appreciate that you, you know, you have use of both arms if you do. And you know what? Even in situations where, you know what, you're going without power, you may not have use of all your limbs. Things might not be the same as the majority of other people. You know what? Be grateful that you're still alive. Seriously, every every little bit you got, be grateful for it. Focus on the gratitude because it, it causes something in you if you, negative in you, if you focus on the bad things. Focus, always focus on the good and be grateful for it. Be thankful. Whichever deity that you pray to, thank that deity every day. Seriously. You know, you, and it's very important. It's very important. Seriously, that's one of the greatest things I've seen. When people have an attitude of gratitude, is, is it does great things for them so anyway that's it for today keep rising and transforming peace <laughs>